Hi guys. So feed and use, they were still pretty tight. Uh, grass is growing a wee bit, but we're still feeding balers, just trying to get them, uh, keep them, keep them going. We've shifted a few ewes around, so I'll show you them when I head back out onto the road. But um, yeah, things are greening up, but uh, still pretty slow. Had a frost this morning. It's up around the hills, just fe still feeding cows, hay. Uh, things are pretty tight up here as well. These girls are calving. I think there's eight, 60 cows in this line. There's eight calves here. So, little black Angus calves. They're doing well. We've got the ewe hoggets up here as well. Um, yeah, we'll just continue to feed them probably for about the next at least 15 days up here, uh, and then they'll hopefully, yeah, just just get pushed further further out. But they're looking alright. They're hanging on. Yeah. Are finding plenty of uh, once they eat the hay, finding plenty of stuff in the in the hill there. So just sitting here having a coffee, uh, tracking Jenna. Jenna's overseas. She spent four days in Canada, she's got 10 days in the UK, she's currently in Hurley, uh, about an hour west of London, and then they're going up to Scotland and have a look around there, and yeah, and then they're coming back via Thailand, Singapore, um, yeah, so she's going to be away for three weeks in total, so got my dad here, he's helping out the farm and the kids and stuff, but uh, that's why you won't see her on any of the videos. up here in the first calving heifers there's four uh, what are we four out of 19 carved up here so they they're doing pretty well uh, they're still on this rough hill paddock yeah um, <laughs> we really don't have anywhere else on the flats for them to go so there's a couple over there mum is happy oh finger out of the way there's a couple over there they're all very happy and content enjoying the sun Good girls. So these are the heifer calves. They're still wintering away on this paddock. Not much left. Uh, they're still getting hay. Yeah, these guys are just ticking along well. So these ewes here are the ones that we're lambing in uh, paddocks one and two, the twin paddocks one and two. So that were really tight over that side. So we ran them across the road and into this, which is rocket fuel uh, plus Italian. So chicory, red clover, white clover, five kilos of Italian, and it's done incredibly well. So we grazed it heavy with the ewe lambs that are now up on the hill, uh, kind of early winter, and then it's just been coming away. So perfect feed for these guys. And um, what's the soil temperature? 8.1. 8. 8.1, yeah. So we had a frost last night, so that brought the temperature down a wee bit. Um, but a day like this will help it. And then if we don't get a frost tonight, it'll help it as well. So just drag the Advantage feeder, hay feeder over here. Just, uh, this is pretty lush. So give them a bit of, uh, a bit of roughage to bind them up a bit. And then we've opened the ewes up over there in the, from the, third and fourth paddocks that were lambing over there so they have got the run of 20 odd hectares uh, just trying to stretch them out feed them grain feed them baleage yeah just trying to feed them as much as possible um, before yeah while the grass is still trying to catch up so we'll go and check out the singles that we shed off over here so these are all the first cycles so we'll go and check the singles we shed off over here wind up a fence and uh, make sure they're all good yeah. Oh, 
and girl, you can't lie down on the job. You'll be down there for a while. Seven, yeah. Yeah, you, you do that. I'll do this. Come on up, you hop. So these are the singles. Uh, probably got six hectares, hundred odd ewes in here. Of um, yeah, there's a wee bit of tucker in here. They're, they're on top of it. It's not uh, it's not getting away from them. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, she's away. <laughs> oh, crazy animal. Right, oh, uh, we're going to pull the fence down. So we'll wind up this fence. This was uh, where the singles were getting shed off. So strain right reel and uh, sheet reel and standards. So we'll wind this up and we're going to put this up on the hill uh, for some hill use on the edge of their strip. So they can have a wee bit more. We can give them a bit of scope. Have you seen those ones before? No. So they're the pigtail with the, with the sheep kind of connections on it. So. Yeah. They're really nice to handle and they're really good when you're stepping over. Hmm. So good strain right product that one. As well as the hot posts, you've seen them before. They're essential if you're uh, doing any sort of sheep fencing. We'll, we'll wind this up. So fence set up, these girls will come through here, just about another hectare for them, try and spread them out a bit, and then uh, once they've grazed that, we'll put them out into where the another set of twins are, are grazing over the top there, and uh, we can just start rotating them around. So these are second cycle earlies. So second cycle twins, yeah. Uh, <laughs> these girls up here have probably got more feed than the first cycle down the bottom. So job this afternoon, these are the last of last year's lambs. They've just been hiding away in a corner. Uh, these are ones that we sold, well, we sold the rest of these guys' uh, store below these. So these were the ones that were below 25 kilos. So we'll weigh them up, see uh, see what the plan is to get rid of these before we need, well, we need the feed now for uh, the next year's lambs being bought now. So. We'll uh, set the race all up and uh, get into it. Shut up! Be quiet! Get out, Alfie! So there's nine above 38 kilos, they'll go prime. Uh, and then there's 28 between kind of 30 and 37 kilos. So they're kind of really forward store. They're not gonna take much to finish. Um, yeah, might talk to the Wrightson's agents see if they can go to Canterbury Park next week and then just get rid of them. Yeah, because uh, we need the paddocks. So we'll give them a call, see what he says. Okay, did you see Alistair from the Grange? Yeah, we've got some last year's lambs uh, here. Nearly scoffed it all.
go. Keep it going for another couple of days. So lamp shear is going well. We've got, I think, 18, 18 in here. Still got two in the new side. Um, yeah, this is this is apricot. Millie's one. This is lavender. George's one. And the girls have named all the rest of them, but don't ask me. I can't remember their names. So starting feeding them a little bit of uh, lucerne chaff and some muesli just to get the rumen developed. So they can get out on grass and away from expensive milk powder as fast as we can. But yeah. Oh, uh, milk powder. I just went and did some shopping. <laughs> My brother-in-law who was uh, was doing the sheep milking thing, they're not anymore, so they're not raising any lambs. So we had some milk powder left over from last year. So we just grabbed that. I think there was 10 bags. Um, that'll keep us going for a bit, but it won't get us through the season. A lamb pretty well takes a, a 20 kilo bag. To, uh, to get it up to 15 kilos. Um, yeah, so we'll need a few more. Hey guys. You've still got milk all over your nose. So do you. So down here at the lease block, these are the hill ewes. So they, um, due to lamb 25th of September, so they're just rotating around here on grass. They've been on half of this. So this is Coxfoot and Rygarass. They've done a, done a pretty good job. Chewed that down, three days in here. So we'll, uh, we'll shift them through and shift the fence around this water trough. And they'll spend probably three days in there as well. That side's bigger than this, but doesn't have as much grass. So. Shifting sheep was always that easy. Yeah. That was easy. It pretty much used to be that easy at Oh, yeah. We've got small enough paddocks, yeah. Open the bloody gate. You go and leave them alone for two or three couple of hours and they'll all shift themselves pretty much and then go and shut the gate. Yeah. So look at that, what are we? We're uh, two minutes 39. All shifted, set the unit back up. Got our quality strain right products. Hot post joining it all together. Perfect. Oh, I'll just chuck it in that wee bit of sun there, I suppose. Not a lot of sun. But... Oh, that's right there. All right, I've timed it, so uh, gotta go pick Millie up from school. And then George up from the bus, and then yeah, the day's pretty much buggered. So this will come back pretty well, I'm guessing. Coxfoot eaten right down. Enough time for uh, some singles to land on here in 10, how far away are we? 20 days. Catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it! Leave it! Walla go! Walla go Alfie! Walla go Alfie! Good boy! Get up here! Good boy! Is that the one you reckon? Is he looking a bit hungry? He's a big lamb. Oh yeah! Oh, boy just look at me. Looking hungry is he? Alfie helped. Can you want to hold this? Look after it. Hey 
definitely wants to run away. What do you think? Big lamb. Yeah, I know. He is. <sighs> what a low. He was looking very hunched up before. Yeah, now he's not really. Yeah, we'll take him. Yay. Yep. He is looking a bit hungry, I think. Yeah. All right, well, that done. might be your new pet lamb. No, we'll go and put him on the feeder. Okay. Yeah. So to round off the day, oh, we got that lamb on the feeder, so it's feeding away. Good old Georgia with her catching ability in Alfie. Um, we've just got this last of this wool beef fleece to bail up and then I can get all this booked in to get sold. Uh, yeah, so we'll, not much to do, just chuck this in there and uh, bail her up. Bail her up. Bail her up. Bail her up, You're gonna, you gonna jump on it for me, Georgia? Yeah. Yeah, do you wanna jump on that one? Oh, I 
know all about the pressing wall, George. I'm, you know, um, Can I do something? Yeah. 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 Lift that up. Lift it up from the end. No, from there. From here. Lift. Lift with all your might. Lift. I'm not Lift. pulling up. Lift. Maybe. Push. Push. <laughs> Crikey. That's not ideal. What happened? What happened? What happened? Did you do something wrong? Well? You're broken. Push more. I did not There you go. There you go. No, it's just the... the Other side. The R clip. The shoe clip came out. Right, this one, put it on there. And I have a do it. Do you? Yes, I do. Oh, where you go then? The second one's always harder. <laughs> I got an air and I got it. Oh, Chris. Oh, 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 there you are. Oh, there you go. You don't need me, you know? <laughs> I've got a hold of You press up. We did. Check that and I did. One day. I'm gonna do this one. When you when you're a year older. A year. This one. Mm. Just needs strength. More strength yeah. than here. I'll show you this. I have more school. I'll show you this now. Okay. I'm really used to that. Is yeah. that for two seconds? Yeah, we got this. Now put it on there and pull back. Just keep it. Down. Pull back. Yep, pull down. See? Now the wall will expand. Sounds like people can Right, come do this one. Last one. Does that matter? No. Too good. I just need to fix it. There we go, pull down. Oh. 
Go. Grab us. Come this way. Ta -da. Oh my god, that's the door so you can trap me in here. I could trap if you wanted to. If you wanted to be trapped in there, we could trap you in there. I want to be trapped in there. Okay, here you go. Pull this oh, yeah. out. You. You. Here you go. So I'll ring through tomorrow and sort out a time when they can come pick this up. Uh, what is it worth? What did I say? 17, there's 17 bales. Mm -hmm. Let's say there's 120 kilos in here. 2,000 kilos, that's greasy. Times. $2 at a push. $4,000 less um, less cleaning fees and testing fees and all that stuff Transport so we might get through we might get three grand for this Then you could buy the motorbike Buy you a motorbike? Yeah, buy the motorbike Oh yeah Did you already buy it? You have to do some work Work it off won't you? <laughs> right that'll do it for today Remember hoodies in stock T-shirts, hats, singlets, um, yeah, and I'll chuck the link down below if you didn't see in the last video and you haven't voted for us for the Royal Champion, please appreciate the vote, uh, and we go, yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next video, see ya.